Good morning YouTube and welcome to my YouTube video and um, check this out how wet is it it's been raining all night it's been raining all morning it's very early in the morning and I have to start early because I've got a lot to get through and check this out so it is a Monday morning ah oh, here comes the rain listen what are we gonna do can we keep going let's keep going check the van out I'm confused, I don't know how to attack this video because late last night I found two amazing things that are both worthy of a video each, you know? Uh, let's just get started before it rains too hard. It's coming down. Now look at this, I just, I can only show you this part. I found another couch and this is a three-seater. It's the three-seater, the same family as the couch that I just showed, I just made a video of just recently. And oh man, man oh man. I'm excited because I've always, I wanted a three-seater, right? I really wanted a three-seater so I can lie down. And uh, there you go. Now, the other thing that I found straight afterwards, check this out. My, it's an OLED, it's an OLED. And this might be the very first OLED that I've ever found that may not have a cracked screen. Look how thin it is, it's pencil thin. It's thinner than a pencil. And um, yeah, so, Listen, the thing is, with the dump that I, one of the dumps that I go to, e-waste facilities, the thing is, they've got this massive skip. It's like 10 metres long, it's huge. It's like two metres tall. And what they do is they just throw the TVs inside. They're always smashed and destroyed and so forth. But if you get there at the end of the day, especially on a weekend, um, <laughs> when people are throwing stuff out the most, a lot of the time they will have TVs stacked up next to it because it's full, right? So they're not gonna throw TVs into a full skip. So yeah, this was sitting pretty right next to the skip. And man, I was so excited. Went over it very quickly. I can't see, a I couldn't see a crack in it, but it was pretty late, it was very dark. So what we're gonna do is take this down into my cinema and have a better look. Now, the reason I'm very excited about this TV, in fact, let's walk around here. Okay, that's better. I'm underneath my hood of the, the back door now. Um, check that out. That's the exactly the same um, side as the other recliners that I have. This one's a manual recliner, but I don't care about that. In fact, I can actually turn this into an electric one if I really want, and I might do that. But yeah, it's exactly the same as the home theatre that I just found just recently and made a video of. I'll stick that video in the description. Check it out. But the reason why I'm so excited about this particular OLED is because of this. Well, one, it's got a curved screen on it, okay? Now, that doesn't mean too much to me, but I remember years ago, years ago, I found an OLED TV. It had a curved screen. It was the exact same size, but best best of all, have a look at the, have a look at the stand. Check the stand out. Can you see that? Look at the shape of it. Let's have a look at it from this angle. Look at that. Okay, now I remember that stand. I remember that stand well, because it's very unique looking. In fact, let's go for a walk. Let's go over to my top carport, check this out. Now, if we have a look on the ceiling here, this is where I keep, well, all of these TV stands that you see here, along the ceiling, there's probably a good hundred or more. These are from LG TVs. Okay, now, can you see that thing sticking out up there? Let me just grab this broom and I'll point to it. Does this look familiar to anyone? <laughs> wow. I reckon that TV that I found years ago is the exact same TV. And if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it turned on. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw part of a picture. It was just cracked. I think it was cracked. So we're gonna go looking for that TV. We're gonna go looking for those boards. I've thrown the TV out, but I've kept the boards. That's what I do. And hopefully we can get this thing going. So basically, let's turn this video into all about this TV. If we can't get this TV going, it's gonna be, it's gonna suck. <laughs> I've built it up, I've built it up to myself. Last night I've been so excited. But um, yeah, it's okay. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Let's see what we've got. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we have gotta do that so I can start making another video today about this couch, because I'm gonna do a dedicated video about this couch, this recliner couch. And, um, and clean it up and take it down into my cinema as well. But for now, I'm just gonna set this camera up over here and I am gonna pull this TV out 
take it down to my cinema. All right. Let's just put you there. I don't know why, but the LG TVs, they always have their power cords attached to the TVs. They're not like you can pull them out, it sucks. <sighs> now, these are so much more delicate. To pick these up, you have to be much more careful. <clears throat> um, let's just do that. Oh. I've got to be quick because it's still lightly raining. So here we are in my corset shop and this is my home cinema through that massive big gap in the wall. All right, check this out. I'm building this on YouTube for anyone who isn't familiar with my channel. Look at these red seats, home theater seats, genuine leather, all reclined. <laughs> where, do you, where do you think I got those? You betcha, a dump. And uh, this here is my couch that I have just made a video on. This is the latest one that I've just found and I'm keeping this one as well. Let's get in front of it and look back. All right, so look how beautiful that is. Um, there's another piece upstairs. Don't take any notice of that black piece that I've stuck in there. That's just a, an experiment that I'm currently working on. But yeah, this is amazing. So the one that's in the car now is the three seater. It's exactly the same family. It has the exact same top stitching. It looks identical to this. It's just a three seat couch, which is perfect for my needs because I want a three seater. I want to be able to lie down. I want to put a three seater at the back row there, maybe a couple of recliners on either side and then have this couch here on the front row maybe with a second couch with another chase but on the opposite side but um anyway listen that's what i'm thinking i don't want to get too involved in this we're getting sidetracked this video is now all about this tv and guess what <laughs> my excitement level just went through the roof i'll show you why in fact let me just grab this torch this light okay have a look at this i just put this down a few minutes ago and look at the back. Can you see that? I didn't notice this at the dump. Look at that, there's a cover. This cover here, I'm not sure how, let me just put this light here. This is the cover for the power cord. Now, this was actually just hanging off here while I was carrying it down, I didn't notice. So somebody has actually unscrewed this through that hole. There's normally a screw that holds that in. Why would you pull that off? if the screen had a cracked screen. You wouldn't. The only reason you would pull a cover off the back of a TV is if there was a screen fault. So I reckon this TV was dumped because it has a screen fault. Now, don't get overly excited because what happens is when people decide to throw a TV out, the TV might be okay. The screen of the TV might be fine, but by the time it gets to the dump, because remember, they, they don't want the TV anymore. They just toss it in the back of the car. They throw all the other shit on top of the TV that they want to dump. Normally, this, the screens crack on the way. But um, we're going to find out. We're going to go over this with a torch and have a good look to see if we can see any cracks. But first of all, let's turn it on and uh, see what we got. All right, so now, where am I going to set you? Let me just put you here do all this live let me just drag this over because the power is just here okay okay she's plugged in in fact i should get some more light happening shouldn't i okay so we have power to this tv and check this out look what i just noticed we have the LG logo is illuminated. 
hmm, so is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I kind of think it's a bad thing. <laughs> it's telling me that the power supply isn't completely dead like I was hoping it would be because it'd be nice just to change the board, but who knows, there might be other problems with the power supply. It might be a mainboard issue, who knows. It might be a bad screen. It might just have a screen issue and the screen issues most of the time you can't fix. There's only, there's gonna be only one way to find out, right? Let's turn it on. In fact, let's get you closer because you're too far away. I'm just gonna sit you here. All right. All right, I'm gonna turn it on on the TV. There's a power switch behind here. I'm just gonna reach behind and three, two, one. Nothing, <laughs> nothing. That's exactly what we wanna hear. Oh, we wanna see basically. But did you hear that? That's, that's the thing. Did you hear that? I heard some relays. Let me hit it again. Did you hear that? Relays, I hear relays clicking in. So the power supply, it's trying to turn itself on, but nothing, absolutely nothing. That is a good sign. That's a good sign. Um, okay, now the deal is with these TVs, they're completely different to troubleshooting a normal TV. It's completely different. Why is it completely different? Because whenever I try to fix a TV or you know troubleshoot problems in the TV, one of the main things that you're looking for when you turn a TV on are backlights. You wanna see backlights coming up, you know, when you turn your TV on, you can kinda of see a faint glow before the screen even kicks in. Well, with an OLED TV, you don't see those because there's no backlights in an OLED TV. It's all basically, it's all just, um, each individual pixel has its own light source. That's the whole idea behind OLED, which by the way, stands for organic LED. So, all right. So what are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? All right, so that's a great sign. It's not turning on. It's not turning on, but I can hear some relays clicking in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab this light. I am gonna get this light. I'm gonna put you up here. And I am gonna go over this with a torch. And I am gonna see if I can see any cracks in it, because that would suck. So far, so good. Oh, I thought there was a crack, but it's a smudge. <laughs> it's looking good. We will definitely be cleaning this screen. It's dirty. But so far, I cannot see any cracks. I can't see any cracks. I can't see any cracks. Wow, we might be on a good thing here. <laughs> we might be on a good thing. Okay, so let's treat this TV as if it doesn't have a crack in it. Now, by the way, me doing this and looking for cracks doesn't mean it doesn't have a crack. The amount of times I've gone over it with my torch and looked like this, and sworn there's been no cracks and then finally got it working, turned it on and it's been cracked. That has happened so many times. So let's not get our hopes up too much, but they did just rise a little. Now, what's the deal? What are we gonna do now? Well, I've decided I am going to take you guys and show you, show you my process, what I do to fix this. Um, I'm gonna take you upstairs. We're gonna go board shopping. We're gonna go and look for the boards. I'll show you how I store these boards. Let's go, I'll talk to you on the way. Um, and by the way, I apologize, it's embarrassing. This is just how I have to live at the moment. Let's go up to my super deck. So upstairs here, you can remember Ant's super deck. Computer, lights.
All right, so this is my deck. Now, scattered through my house, and this is the embarrassing part. If we have a look down here, you can see there's these containers. And inside each of these containers, we have a bunch of TV boards. All of these boards came out of TVs. Now this container here, this has all my Sony LED TVs. This one here looks like it has my Panasonic plasma boards. This one over here has my Panasonic LCD TV boards. And if we turn around and look over here, this one here, well, both of these are my LG TVs. So all of those boards there, you can see I wrap them individually. That's from a TV. And I write down exactly what the problem is, what the model of the TV is, etc., etc. So if I put you on, say, here, oh, by the way, check this out. You like my arcade? <laughs> Guess where I found that? You betcha. Um, so I'll be doing a video on this at some point, but that was a really cool find. It worked and everything, but um, I have to fix it. Um, they basically pushed it off the uh, side of a truck or a ute or something, and um, the legs are stuffed. But anyway, have a look at this. Oh, let's have a look at this down here. Check this out. You can see on the outside here, I have a list of the TVs that are actually inside this container. So let's have a look for our TV. What was it called? It was a OLED LG 55 um, EH930T. And I can't see anything there that suggests those boards are in there. All right, so that means up here, could it be in this bunch of boards? Well, no, because they're out of TVs that I've probably kind of deboarded in the last couple of years. Listen, this is bugging me, it's too loud. I'll just turn this down. There we go. Yeah, so it's not going to be in any of those boards, but it might, it's probably in here. So let's kind of clear some space. And actually, I can see another pink list. So this list must be for the boards inside here. So let's have a look at this list. Can we see our TV? Oh, look at that. There you go, 55 EC930T OLED. And next to it, it says turned on. Wow. So, man, it's looking good. It's looking good. So I am gonna go digging inside this box and I'm going to try and find the boards that we need. I'll be with you in two shakes. Look at this. Check this out. Man, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I was looking for a small board. Wow, that's massive. Look how big this power, power board is. All right, so there we go. LG 55 inch OLED 55 EC 930T. Curved, cracked screen, turned on. Okay, November. 18 that's like 2018 this is like three and a half years ago i didn't expect the board to be that big in the back of that tv it's only a 55 inch tv i was expecting it to be like that size um, and then we've got the speakers we have the speakers the main board and listen let's take this downstairs let's go back downstairs to the cinema computer lights All right, here we go. Man, that board is massive. That is a big board. All right, let me just get set up.
be right back. All right, I'm back. Now, why did I leave just now? Because I remembered something. I remembered back in like 2018, years ago when I first started doing this whole TV thing. Um, I've only been doing it since maybe 2017, 2016 um, with the TVs. But back then, uh, what I used to do is I used to take photos. And um, I used to take photos of the TVs when I got them. I used to take t photos of the TVs with the backs off. I used to take photos of the boards. I used to take photos of this thing here after I'd wrapped all the boards up. So I thought maybe I had some photos of this, you know, the TV that these boards came out of. And I did, I just found them and checked this out. You can see this, this is in my lounge room upstairs. Uh, when I had some space, you can see it's the exact same TV. Now check out the board, uh, sorry, check out the screen. Have a look at the screen. Can you see there, all of that, it's cracked down the bottom. See where all those lights, that big string of, you know, big line of light is? Well, that's there, basically there's a crack right down the bottom. And that's what's, I'm thinking that's what's made those, you know, all that light, that um, line of light. Now, I'm a bit concerned, and I'm concerned because who's to say that their TV wasn't exactly the same as this TV when they decided to throw it out? It just wouldn't turn on. And the reason why it got a crack is because it got cracked on the way and those lights that are coming out on the screen are because of that crack. Who's to say that if we crack this screen, we wouldn't get the same thing? You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm a little bit con I'm concerned now that um, we may not be looking at a TV fix, but there's only one way to find out, I guess. Um, let's do a board swap. Okay, what do you think? We've replaced the power board, let's have a look. Okay, I'm gonna use the remote this time. Nothing. Damn it.
Damn it, nothing. All right, so I'm getting the exact same symptoms um, with this power board as I did with the other power board. So let's keep going, I guess. Um, let's replace the main board. I'm not sure whether I should put the, the other power supply back in or just leave it. I think I'm just gonna leave it for now. Damn it. Shit. All right, let's put this down. Hmm, all right, let's, let's not give up. Let's not give up. Unplug it. Now, I'm gonna try replacing this main board and see if that does anything. And um, I guess we can replace the T-Con board, but I don't really wanna do that. Okay, take two, I guess. Okay, so we have the donut power board and we have the donut main board. Let's see what happens. Nothing. It's not looking good, guys. It is not looking good. I'm just going to try something. I'm just going to plug in an aerial, some rabbit ears. You just never know. I just want to see if, if we've got sound. Sometimes it's actually left on a on a TV station, you know. And um, if we're not getting picture, sometimes you get sound that can tell us a few things. sure if it's turned on still so let's just didn't tell us anything. <sighs> Just gonna unplug it. <sighs> All right, so it's not looking good. It's not looking good. So what I've done, basically I've replaced the power board with our donor power board. I've replaced the main board with the donor main board. The only board that I haven't replaced is the T-Con board. And it can very well be the T-Con board, you know, but don't like our chances. So we may as well try and um, replace the T-Con board while we've got it like this and see if anything happens. Otherwise, I think my, um, initial thoughts remember with that when we looked back at that picture um, and we saw those red vertical bars and I thought that maybe um, that TV that I pulled these boards out of might have been cracked on the way to the dump I reckon that's probably the, what's happened and the TVs have probably got the exact same issues that sucks so anyway before we jump to any conclusions let's just replace this and um, yeah, rule this out. So that's unplugged, let's go. Alright, 
take three. This, this is our last hope, <laughs> our last chance. No. Nah. Damn it. Damn you, LG. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. Can't fix it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I feel like I've let everyone down. I feel like I've wasted all your time, half an hour. Listen, I'm gonna post this video anyway because I think it's important that people see that not everything that I get, I can fix. Uh, well, not straight away. And uh, I think it's important that people see that because most of my videos, I'm fixing stuff all the time, you know. Um, but yeah, this happens quite a bit. Quite often, I come up to a lot of stuff that I can't fix. But um, a lot of it, I actually take back to the dump. But um, this, I am not taking back to the dump. This TV, I will be holding on to. Because, let's wrap this up. I'll tell you exactly what I think's going on. This TV has a good screen, I reckon. I think the screen's okay. Um, what do I think is going on? I think the power board is bad. And um, I think what I have just done is replaced, so basically all the boards on the TV at the moment are our donor boards from our 28 TV, 2018 TV. And I think what I've done is just pulled a bad power board from that and I've stuck it on here. So I think both the, the boards are bad. Um, yeah, so I think that 2018 TV was damaged, was cracked on the way to the dump. So, yeah. And so the reason why I think it's the power board is a couple of reasons. The first reason, I did a bit of investigating online. Um, I jumped on the Reddit site and I saw a couple of people who had the exact same symptoms that this TV was showing us. And um, the first person, he ended up buying a power board and it fixed it. He bought a brand new power board, fixed his TV. And then the other guy did it and it fixed his TV. So these TVs sound like they might have a inherent problem with the power boards. Um, so yeah, that's one reason why I think it's the power board. Number two reason is this LED, sorry, this um, uh, LED light logo, the LG logo, every time I turn the TV on, the logo turns on. But the second click that you hear, the second relay that you hear clicking in, it's going out. So I think it's turning itself off. And that's more than likely the power board that's doing that. So yeah, so that's the deal. I'm gonna keep it. What I'm gonna do right now is put all the original boards back in. And I will wrap these donor TV boards back up the way they were, stick it back into the container upstairs. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to put it all back together so it is original and I am going to wait until I find another TV at the dump um, and pull it, bring it home, turn it on and make sure it's got a cracked screen. We want to see a picture. We want to see a menu. We want to see anything that is telling us that, you know, the screen is alive. Just seeing those vertical bars on our donor TV really doesn't mean anything. Like I said, that, those, that crack that was causing those vertical lines, those big bright vertical lines on that TV, that they were probably done when they were taking the TV to the dump. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this back together now and just store it. I guarantee you we will get this going. <laughs> I'm not gonna guarantee you that this, the screen doesn't have a crack in it. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a crack in it. I couldn't see anything, but that doesn't really matter. But um, the thing is, I am seeing these TVs coming through a lot these days. Most of the time, I don't grab them because I can tell that they've cracked. They've got a big dent in the screen or they've smashed or something. From now on, I'm gonna grab them, turn them on and see if I can see part of a picture and then I know the board's gonna be okay. But now I'm repeating myself. But that's it, guys. I apologize again that we couldn't fix this. I'm sorry if I got people's hopes up, but we will get it going. I just wanna get myself an OLED TV from the dump. I don't wanna pay for it. I wanna get one. The bigger the better. Oh, hopefully I can get a 65 inch one. I've got a 65 inch OLED just up on the top of the stairs there that I got at the dump. The screen's stuffed, the screen's cracked, so I'll pull the boards out of it. 
But um, that's it, guys. I'd like to say thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.